Hey guys, so today I am bringing you the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I already did the one, I already did a video on the Pro Glow and that should be up already and then as promised in the other video I'm going to do a comparison or a wear test for this one. I am a little sick right now, I have a sinus infection thanks to the rise in pollen in Florida and the area that I live in does have a lot of pollen, so thanks, Florida. You guys will get the idea that I use pretty much the same products for the base, and the only thing that's really different is just going to be the foundation. This will also give you guys, with the same skin type as me, with the oily pretty much in the middle of the face and then dry on the outside. So dry, oily combination skin. So this will also give you an idea of how it works for me and then how I do it and hopefully it will work for you as well. I've already did the beginning steps on my face. I used the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Sunscreen Moisturizer and I used the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm for extra moisturization. And then I used the Lancome La Base Pro as my primer. Then I wanted to use some shadows today because I have some new shadows that I bought from MAC. For the eyes, I used Urban Decay's Primer Potion to prime with the MAC eyeshadow in Orb. And then I used the color Wedge, which is this really nice cool tone brown. And then to go under that, I used soft brown, which is sort of like a warm tone brown. And then for all over my lid, I used Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And then for a brow bone highlight, I used Nylon from MAC, which is this color right here. And that's what I did for my eyes today. And then, as usual, I use my Anastasia brow definer to do my brows. So the next step that I'm really going to do is going to go ahead and apply the foundation. And I know I used my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush last time. I think I'm going to do that. I recently bought this brush and I got it from Walmart. It's the Moda Royal and Langnickel brush. It's their complexion brush and the number or the name of it is BMD 185. This one I wanted to try to see if it was like very similar or something like that to the Real Techniques and so far I can tell you that this is a lot softer than the Real Techniques because the Real Techniques for me kind of is a little bit harsh on the ends here but the end for the Royal and Langnickel brush is very very soft. I find that the Royal and Langnickel brush is less streaky than this one and I know that I do have some streakiness sometimes with this brush but for the purpose of this video I am going to go ahead and use the Real Techniques brush and we're going to get started. Put some of it on my hand, and where's my hair clip? I always do this, I always forget. Where's my hair clip? So I'm going to clip my hair back, and then go in with my brush. So something that I already noticed is that it has the same lightweight feel to the foundation and you know onto my face it is very lightweight same as the pro glow one which I really like I really like how thin and lightweight it is the coverage is pretty much the same for me I feel like it's kind of light to medium coverage which is fine for me because I don't really care for high coverage or intense coverage my biggest problem area is right here on the bridge of my nose that's where foundation doesn't really stick. I kind of just lightly dab it and then just kind of brush it up a little bit. I 
and usually that does the trick. This has given a really nice matte finish and it's not too matte to it's not too matte to where it is super super cakey and dry at least for me all right so now I am going to finish the rest of my face I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the pro glow one where I will set my whole face but then I will only do one side of the face with setting spray and then the other side I will leave alone then we will see how it compares to the other side at the end of the day I'm going to do the same stuff as I did with the pro glow foundation I'm going to set my whole face and do my whole face as I normally would but then on one side I will not use setting spray and then the other one I will use setting spray and then we will see at the end of the day if it makes a difference so I'm going to set my face with the RCMA powder. What I use is I use an empty container of my NYC Smooth Skin translucent powder and I just put some of the RCMA powder in here and then I just kind of put it into the cap whenever I'm ready to use. I'm going to set my face with my Wet n Wild powder brush and kind of swirl it in here. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I will come back to let you guys know what I used and then we will go from there. I finished doing the rest of my face. You saw earlier that I used the RCMA powder to set the foundation and then I used my usual, my Benefit Hoola bronzer and then I used my Benefit Dandelion blush. And for highlight I used the Jeffree Star highlight in Peach Goddess, and oh my gosh, this thing is huge. It is like the size of half of my face. But this is huge compared to, let's say, my Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlight. These two, these two, look at that. So you get a lot of product in this one. You get 15 grams and this one is 4.5 grams. So this is like a third of what you get in here. So that is huge. That's what I used for my highlight, and I really like this color. I have Iced Cold, and it is super, super ice cold. So I will have to do a review on these if you guys want. I also have some of his liquid lips, and I, I can do a review on those as well. See, this, this sinus infection has gotten me off track, and then now we're back on track, and then we get off of track, and then it's just my mind is literally everywhere. <coughs> Let's drink water. All right, getting back on track. Before I do my mascara, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. And I'm using the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So I'm going to use something to kind of block half of my face. I'm going to pretty much do the same thing as I did for the last video. I'm going to set the right side of my face and then I'm going to leave the left side of my face alone. I'm going to take the sheet of paper, literally do the right half of my face and I'm going to spray and then let it dry. I don't know if I really want to wear lipstick today. I'm going to lunch with a friend so I don't know if I really want to wear any lipstick but some recent lipsticks that I got are from the Jeffree Star line, and then my newest ones that I got from like Sephora. This is an old Bath & Body Works candle jar that I repurposed, and I actually do that a lot for my brushes like this one, and for my eye brushes as well. These are the ones that I use very often, and then I have like a mug, a really cute mug that I use for my other brushes. I don't know what I want to do with this because I have a lot going on. 
with like my eyes maybe some sort of nude I was wearing um, I was wearing celebrity skin from Jeffree Star yesterday just to kind of play around with it and I think I really like that because it's more of like a neutral nude kind of color so let me go ahead and do that actually. To prime my lips, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Pencil as a base. And then I think I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin. That is Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin applied. And usually I find that with his liquid lipsticks, you have to let them dry before you actually see the final color on your skin. I actually had that problem with his other one, Mannequin, because as you can see, Mannequin is very, very light and very um, sort of peachy in my opinion. You can see that they are, this one is Mannequin and is very light and sort of peachy in my opinion, but once it dried on my lips, it was actually really okay. It was fine. So I find that with his liquid lipsticks, you have to let them dry before you actually see the final product on your lips. This one is fine so far. And I think I actually really like this combination. And since I already did my setting spray, I can go in with my mascara before I forget and leave the house without mascara because I have done that before. Let's see what time it is. It is 11.43. And I will check in back with you, hopefully, for as long as I can wear this. And I'm hoping it'll be around like 8.30 tonight. So I will check in with you guys later. And I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back. And it is 7.46 right now. So it's been approximately, I believe, 8 hours. Um, I think I started at 11.40 or 11.45 and now it is 7.46 at night. So this has been on for roughly about eight hours, and what I can say is that, so remember this is the side that I used the setting spray, and then this side is the side that I did not use setting spray, and it is a little bit more tacky on the side that I didn't set, that I didn't use any setting spray, so it is a little bit more tacky, but I think the color the color of my bronzer and my highlight and blush and everything is pretty much the same on both sides. I think that this is a pretty good foundation. The only thing that I would say is this isn't as matte as I thought it would be because they call it a pro matte. I did not blot or anything like that or put any extra foundation or powder onto my skin except for the one time that I had set it. So I think that this is pretty good for a good eight hours and plus if you guys don't already know I live in Florida and it is like a hundred degrees outside during the day and I was outside running errands and doing things outside so I was sweating, to say the least. So I think that this held up wonderfully in the Florida heat and humidity, even with me sweating a little bit because I sweat very, very easily. So overall, I think that this held up really well in especially the Florida heat and humidity. I, I think on a scale of one to 10, I would give this a seven and I I don't think I'd mentioned this but I would give this a good seven as well especially for the fact that this is a pro glow so this one the pro matte it claims to have a demi matte finish which I agree with it has 24 hour wear I wouldn't say that this is 24 hour I would probably say it's a good solid 10 hours. I think if I had a couple more hours it would be good. And then I think at that point Soul. Soul. Hey. Hey. Stop. Come here. As for 24 hour wear, I wouldn't say that this has a 24 hour wear. 
I think that if I had another couple to four hours, so about up to 12 hours maybe, then this would be pretty good. I think with the fact that it is feels kind of dewy to me, um, the fact that I think it's kind of dewy to me, it's not going to last me 24 hours. As for the coverage, medium, I would say, it, it says that it's medium, I would say it's medium, I would say it's low to medium. It's definitely not high, so they have that right. And then, as far as texture, air light, I completely agree with them that it's air light because it really is. It is a very lightweight, feathery kind of coverage. All in all, this is a really good foundation, a drugstore foundation, and so is this. I really do like these two, and I think that these are one of the better drugstore foundations that I have tried, aside from my Revlon Colorstay. Aside from my Revlon color stay that I have. So this one, and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I do have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I really liked this one too. This one definitely keeps you dry. I'm not even kidding. This I give it a thumbs up from me. I would wear this again, even though it is not as matte, as pro matte as it says, but I think without touching up or without any sort of blotting, it does a really good job of making me look matte. Um, I don't think that it matters with each side, with you know the side that I set or the side that I did not set, I don't think it really matters. I think the most important part was the fact that I set it with a powder period. And it does not seem like to me like any side is more diminished than the other. If you have either of these, let me know what you think of them and if you've tried them. So that is all for this wear test today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. See ya!